Welcome to the ABB Power Connections Update. In this session, we'll highlight two exciting new programs launched by the Power Connections team. And we'll be discussing some of the key industry trends surrounding the data center vertical market with Dave Sterlace, ABB's Head of Technology for Global Data Center Solutions. New to the Power Connections portfolio is a semi-automated feral strip and crimp tool with a fast cycle time of one second. Stripping wire and crimping a ferrule has never been easier. And that's not the only thing that's fast. Die kit changes can be done in less than 30 seconds. And there's more. Our new tool doesn't need expensive specialty ferrule on a tape reel type product. Just pour standard loose type packaging of ferrules into our automatic bowl feeder and off you go for fast, easy stripping and terminating of ferrules. Keep on the lookout for more information on this great new product over the coming months. The ABB Power Connections team has also launched some new and exciting social media content. Our Power Of campaign highlights the value behind the Power Connections program. Topics will include training and education tools, marketing and merchandiser activities, and will introduce the technical resources positioned throughout the U.S. to support our customer needs. We'll also be launching our new Power Minute Plus series of micro-training videos meant to help educate users on our complete Power Connections portfolio. These short videos will highlight our full range of lugs, terminals, tools, and more. Be sure to follow ABB Electrification on LinkedIn and Instagram to see the latest product and market updates. Now, let's join Bob Freilicker, National Market Development Manager for Power Connections, and Dave Sterlace, Head of Technology for Global Data Center Solutions, as they discuss the ever-growing data center market. Thanks for joining us today, Dave. Everywhere we look, we see another data center popping up. Can you give us a little information on, you know, what's going on with this rapid growth and do you see it continuing in the future? Yeah, absolutely, Bob, and thanks for having me. I think that in general, data centers are becoming more important part of everyday life and, and and with the rise of work from home in the last year or so we've seen more and more internet traffic of course video on uh, video conferencing etc so so there's a lot of things going and 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 a lot of people really don't understand you you, you take your phone right it's a uh, it's a great window but it's not necessarily a great computing device or a great storage device so you need a data center behind it to help get you all the information you need um, Similarly, with the rise of self-driving cars and things like uh, uh, 5G coming for telephony, it's going to be a tremendous future for data centers. So I, I see the trajectory keep continuing. So Google, Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft, all names that we recognize and familiar with. There's a lot of other players out there. Can you give us a little bit of background on some of the other types of data centers? Yeah, so we classify the, the household name guys as like the cloud and hyperscale players. Below that, there's a layer called uh, co-location where these are companies that provide data centers as a service. So perhaps one of those companies or perhaps a manufacturing company would hire them to host their data center. Uh, they used to be called internet hotels, but now there's, we're calling them co-location. And finally, the, the manufacturing companies, which we call the enterprise uh, layer, there's still a ton of data centers, which for financial reasons or maybe R&D reasons want to have an on-site uh, data center. Great. So in your role as data center technology manager for ABB, what are some of the key trends and industry drivers that you're seeing? Yeah, first thing we've seen is data centers keep getting bigger and bigger. Um, so we're now in the uh, 100 megawatt data center is, is not uncommon now. So we're really in that, in that range of, of sizing for power. With that comes, you know, more and more emphasis on power consumption and efficiency and where your power comes from, things like that. So, so that's certainly part of it. We also see uh, a growth in, uh, in, in digital communications and, and autonomy around the control of the data center itself. And then finally, there's, there's been, a, uh, because of that power usage primarily, there's been a real emphasis on sustainability. So Dave, I'm glad you mentioned sustainability. As we both know, that's a key pillar for ABB. Can you give us some information on how the data center market is addressing sustainability? Yeah, for sure. Sustainability has become an important part with that tremendous power usage, how to use it efficiently, how to not waste resources, and things like that. And as you know, traditionally data centers have used 
diesel generators, for example, for longer term backup. So diesel generators have, have been, you know, they're, they're a carbon emitter and uh, we've, we've made tremendous progress in terms of the manufacturers are making what's now a, a tier four diesel, a lot less emissions than they previously had. Additionally, they're looking at, at different types of fuel that are actually uh, carbon free. And then there's also the thought of, you know, if we, if we had our UPS system run a bit longer, longer battery time, then we could, uh, we could have a, uh, not even have to turn on the diesel, for example. With that in mind, uh, other portions of it are, you know, if we can reuse an existing industrial f uh, facility, so if we can repurpose a facility, probably has a good power supply already, and then we can turn that into a data center, we might need some help from, from you know, grounding and bonding side to kind of beef up that grid for things. And then finally, uh, sustainability is really, uh, a, a group effort. So, so if you look at your vendors like ABB, we have, for example, a, a mission to zero manufacturing where we're trying to manufacture our products carbon free. And if you look at the greenhouse gas emissions, basically 90% in your, in your scope is kind of beyond your control. It's with, with like indirect things like what your vendors are doing, et cetera. So ABB with our mission to zero manufacturing can help with that. And we're starting to be part of that sustainable future and can help the clients out with that. So you mentioned some of the ABB products that are specified on almost every data center job out there. Switch gear, motor controls, power protection, cable management, and our UL listed color key compression lug systems. What are some of the electrical installation issues that the data center market are seeing? Yeah, so again, speed is, is becoming one of the most important drivers for the, the construction of a data center. So, uh, making the electrician's job on site easier, things like color key to ensure, you know, a quality, you know, first time is the right quality uh, 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 integrity of the connection, for example. Connect power connection, of course, power quality and power continuity is, is still number one with the data center. In addition to that, we've seen a lot of emphasis on can we build stuff off site? It's not always easy to get qualified electricians and people at a data center at a remote site or enough of them if you're, you're considering the big ones. So if we can pre-build and pre-test something and then ship it in a larger block than, than we used to just ship, you know, switch gear, assemble it on site, test it on site. If we can do all that attached to a skid or something or perhaps an e-house in the factory, pre-tested, then it goes there, it saves a ton of time on, on site, for example. So there's some really good things happening as far as that goes. So Dave, this has been some great information, very educational. I appreciate your time today. Great. I hope today that our audience comes away with a better understanding of how their daily lives impact the rapid growth of the data center market. Thanks for joining us today for our Power Connections quarterly update. We hope that you can join us next time as we continue to keep you up to date with all things Power Connections.